Greetings, everyone. Looney Farm Guy here with a new mod test for Wednesday, September the 14th, and this is the Skid Steer Lower Loader 711 Pack by Black Sheep Modding. It's for all platforms. And uh, the download uh, megabytes is 9.43 megabytes. Um, and on console, um, <clears throat> slot counts. Well, it is a pack of five items, including the skid steer. Skid steer is seven slots, so quite low. And then two, two, one, and one. So very low on the um, slot count and quite reasonable actually on the uh, the megabytes as well. So first of all, let's get our help window on and we will find this under skid steer loaders there we go the 711 $25,000 to purchase so uh, kind of in line with the uh, low end shall we say older models um, 108 horsepower variable transmission 11 miles per hour top speed 5.4 tons now we do have a very interesting indeed option here skid steer loader or a front loader attachment as an option that's nice um i would like to see that a lot more so this could be a very useful and um adaptable machine with that option i know there's a lot of front loader um um stuff out there so yeah, nice to see that. Uh, wheels, Trelleborg. We, in, uh, we have Trelleborg, Midas, Nokian, Verdestine, and Trelleborg. In Trelleborg, we have Standard and very nice and very, I'm, I must say, real looking tracks. Uh, this is the most real, <clears throat> actual, authentic looking tracks I've ever seen on... Uh, farming simulators so well done there uh, we have the th400 and back to the standards so yeah um, nice uh, we'll leave the oh yes then we go to as uh, midas is is as is nokian as is and verdestein and trailerberg again we have the choices do you like those tracks uh, design we have standard such as this open cab we have a sunshade or a forestry with the um, a little bit of a cage around it. <clears throat> color, we have our choice of a few colors. Orange, which is always nice. We've got that two-tone-ish look to it that's kind of just a weird look. I like it. Um, we have the red, a red two, black, green, and a faded green if it says green two. Uh, it always looks a little strange for a massy, massy red. Uh, rim color, <clears throat> we have a few extra rim colors. Amongst, uh, we have a black and a black. Hmm? <laughs> and a black, yeah. And a uh, green and green, of course. And we also have a, oh, a gray. Okay. Uh, two grand for the main color, uh, two, three hundred bucks for the rim color. As for the accessories, let's have a quick look at those. Front, no, not front loader. We want skid steer tools. There we go. <clears throat> and here they are. We have a, a bale spear, pallet fork, universal bucket, and well, two sizes of universal bucket, 1200 and a 2000 liter. Those will hold literally anything that you can scoop up off the ground. Um, and the bale fork. So they all have basically a color options. We have the same as the wheels, as you can see there. Uh, uh, oh, color ch to change the color, 300 bucks. So that one again, color options, that color options, like so. So pretty reasonable attachments, and the uh, unit itself is not too bad. <clears throat> right, so if we run over here. Oh, there's one more. There's, yes, almost forgot. There is a weight. Is it under weights? No. Um, miscellaneous? 
There's a wait for this. Was it still under the skids? Oh, there it is, the rear wait, yes. So they have a rear weight uh, that's almost almost forgot that. <clears throat> we have the standard with the uh, with the uh, colors, of course, and then uh, which is a thousand kilograms, and it goes up to two thousand or twelve hundred, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. So up to eighteen hundred kilograms. It's going to cost you twenty nine fifty for the largest one there. And so over here, as you've seen in the thumbnail. I have uh, I have the lightweight on there, so it does have a hitch. So if we get in here and just unhook that for a second, and unhook the uh, hit or the weight. So the weight is is you just back up to it. It hooks up to the back, like so. Fits right in there, real nice. Um, as for uh, what hooks up to the the, the rear hitch, uh, the pin hitch, as not surprising, but what is somewhat a little bit surprising and pleasantly surprising is it hooks up, hooks up to a ball hitch as well. Very nice. Uh, lights, you have your standard lights and your uh, beacon. We have a beacon on the back. License plate. Uh, no other kind of access or you know think the horn right okay so uh, let's start with the bale fork bale fork is pretty much as um, like so it is a bale fork um, you stick bales on and you take them off The uh, lift lifting motion is not particularly fast, but it's not awkward or anything either. As for the two buckets, we have the largest bucket here, and as you can see, uh, lifting height pretty good actually. Uh, dumping, as you can see, it dumps very nicely. And to uh, fill, let's put it down here, adjust it, there we go, a little bit more, there we go, and 2,000 liters, this is uh, fertilizer, seems to handle it quite well, even without the uh, weight on there, let's just slap that weight on there, and we'll just uh, show you the height of it, it's actually quite, quite nice height dumps into this uh, trailer quite nicely. Not super fast, but oh well, that's as far as it uh, tilts. So if you're trying to tilt it more than that, it's not going to. Right, so sorry about the camera. A little bit wonky this morning. Oops. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> this thing tips easy, tips flips over easy, so yeah, be careful if I just accidentally unhook the back, and uh, it doesn't like that. It'll tip over, and then it'll be a little bit of uh, an issue trying to get it hooked back up again. Um, this is the smaller bucket, so smaller stuff, of course. It empties a little faster, but of course it is. Um, it does um, hold less. This bucket is a lot more typical of the kind of buckets I see on skid steer loaders for, say, landscaping companies and so forth and so on, etc., etc. Uh, last but not least is the... Uh, uh, the forks, as you can see here, they work just like uh, normal forks. This one does have an adjustment. R1 and left and right adjust the width of that up to there. 
and as narrow as that just like so and uh, no problems whoops make sure it's not pressing on the ground too much and there we go no problems picking that up like so yeah and there it is um, a pretty nice a cheap little skid steer with some nice attachments to it for it and don't forget you can um, you could switch that front lifter or the front attachment to a, um, a, a front lifter attachment too and have <clears throat> front loader sorry front loader attachments on this as well so that kind of makes it a really uh, handy dandy little unit and a hitch on the back in case you need that plus the weight that comes with it for extra weight so and I, it's a really nice little pack and that's the skid steer loader 711 pack by black sheep modding they always do a fine job 9.43 megabytes to download seven slots and then two two one one and two for the accessories ah uh, yes two slots for the weight that's where the extra two came in i'm little farm guy and remember it's only a game so next time till next time <laughs> till next time bye for now